Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another walking mech, and this one is called the Remis mech, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a fully automated mech featuring both Galling guns and rocket launchers to blast your enemies with. We also have a fully protected cockpit to make sure we don't get damaged while trying to control this thing. So there we go. And we'll come back to that a bit later because first of all we need to find it in the spawn menu and see how much this is. So this thing is 253 small blocks using the Waysan DLC pack. We got no information whatsoever about it. So we just give this a thumbs up which I already have. Move all the way around to the very front. We'll have a quick look around the outside then we'll drive it around for a bit to see how it handles. So at the very front here we can see we've got a bunch of lovely grey blocks that go all the way around this mech. On the left and the right hand side of where we're going to control this we've got some wasteland spikes to light up the darkness and as we move around the side here we're going to see our arm which is being connected on via a hinge. So our arm has a wheel block that comes onto some rounded blocks that come all the way down onto our galling guns with a rocket launcher just below it. As for our legs which is slightly below that we can see our hinge right there which will come down onto another hinge that comes across onto some steel blocks. Once again another hinge all the way down to the bottom we've got one final hinge connecting up to our foot which has a wheel right behind it acting as a little heel. If you were to look underneath this mech we're going to see a bunch of gyroscopes and reactors to power this thing and to make sure that this thing stays balanced while walking around with a few piston heads acting as a little bit of decoration. If you were to come up and behind the mech we've got a bunch of exhaust blocks being angled once again via a hinge. The exhaust blocks are shooting out a tiny bit of smoke, some additional decoration. And then just above that, come all the way around to here where we do have an ore detector and antenna so we can use this thing to find precious resources and report it back to base. And slightly above there, on the top, we've got a button to open and close the latch to get inside and control this thing. Coming around to over to here, we do have a camera set up with two sound blocks and a gyroscope right behind it. The camera can be rotated all the way around it using your mouse once you unlock it which is very nice to see anything coming up against you or maybe something trying to sneak up behind you. And yes, as for a top view, that is what we get. So that is a very quick and very brief look around the outside because now what we can do, grab hold of my character, come all the way up to here, press the button, there we go, and now we can see inside at our control seat and our reactors sitting right behind it. So getting into the seat and in first person view, this is what we get all the way around us a very limited view but it's good enough for this small vehicle. Looking down we do have our gravity, our horizon, our power and hydrogen and of course our speed right below there. Don't be worried because it is a mech so it will wobble around quite a lot. Anyway if we look it up, bring up the HUD and press number 9 this is going to close the lid on top of us sealing us inside. Coming all around to the very front here pressing number 1 this is going to be for our Gatling guns to fire them both together straight forwards. Number two is going to be for our rocket launchers and this is not going to go very well for this mech. Actually, we're going to be fine. We're outside the blast radius. Yes, we can then shoot that straight ahead and hopefully blow up your enemies and not yourself. Number three and number four. This is how we're going to walk it and how to stop it. Pressing number three. We're now going to walk very, very slowly. We will need to help it with our mouse. As you can see there, we are starting to tip. So we've got to be very careful to make sure we don't tip over while going over a lumpy terrain. So yes, this will just keep going all the way forwards. And here we go. This is it walking along. It's a very jolly mech. Look at him go. We can, if we want to, just tilt him forwards a little bit, which will help him out with balance. But considering we're on a fairly flat terrain, he's doing a fantastic job. And we can shoot our galley guns. Look at him go. Blasting everything in his path as he walks along. Switching to the rocket launchers. Yes, take that nature. Anyway, once we're done with the walking, we can simply press number four and it will come to a stop. There we go. Now he's ready to be parked, turn off the power, and we're good to get out of it. Number eight is going to be how we control our camera on top. So pressing number eight, we'll then take remote control over it. Then we can press number one to view the camera. Pressing number two will unlock the rotor and allow us to spin this all the way around. So there we are, probably going to make you very dizzy by doing this. We then press Alt and look around like so. So there we go. And then once we're done with it, press number two, lock it in place. And now we're ready to walk this thing around again. 
So yes, that is basically it for this walking mech. The only thing I can think of doing it right now is make it walk to its doom over this little cliff edge. At least I think it's a cliff edge. Yay, that'll do nicely. So while it's plodding along, you'll find a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because mechs of all types are very fun to use. And they're always a bit of a laugh when you try to use them one on one against your friends. And here we go, it's taking some time to get over here. We are nearing the cliff edge, we are starting to lose control, and well, he might be actually be saved by this little lip, but not on my watch. We're gonna roll this thing down. Down he goes. And she's finding the free camera. Wherever he's gone, there he is. He's now slipping down the mountainside. And it looks like we have damaged part of the leg, or maybe not. We've damaged something. But can we tip this thing up? Yes, we can. And the mech is generally okay. He's standing up. Can we walk? No, we cannot. So we lost our time block. But we are still functional as a stationary mech that can turn on the spot. Thanks to a gyroscope. <laughs> but yes, that is it for this video. Like I said, there's a link to it in the description below. And I'll be back with another one some point soon. Bye bye.